didn't get that far. I got about, cause it was a 40 minute episode one. Right. Yeah. And I watched 40 minutes and I was like, this isn't, this doesn't seem right. Am I watching the right thing? Like <laughs> everyone's saying it's good. Like is this right? <laughs> It's so funny yeah. that you say like the school days like Mal is either like a 10 or a 2. That's, yeah, I yeah, was yeah. definitely one of those people who put it as a I 10. I know you did, you <laughs> did. Cause, cause I know exactly what, what mindset. What is going on here? I yeah. know what mindset you were in where you were like, every, I'm, I'm in the fucking herd. I gotta what say yes. What is going on? <laughs> Why am I sitting next to someone who gave school days a 10? Okay, look. He's that sheep, right? Who everyone else has said it a 10. And he doesn't want to be that one guy who's like, I don't think I have good taste. No, I have good taste. I can appreciate it. So that's Scott, because for me, right? Like school days was like, Garbage. it was crap until the last episode because the last episode I was like, uh, first of all, I remember just get your shit together. Well, people. then I will share with you guys my unethical passion for my guilty pleasure that I've never told anyone before. Get to it. School days. <laughs> 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 so, oh my god! School days. I fucking. Um, I I probably ruined my credibility. Oh my god! Oh my god! To kill her. All right, can I say something right now? No, but go ahead anyway. I fucking hated the ending of school days. What? So wait, 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 yeah. wait. Wait, 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 you wait, like wait, school wait, days. Wait, you wait, think wait, it's your wait, guilty wait. pleasure, but the best wait. part of it, the <laughs> ending. Wait, 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 If there's one thing that the anime community likes to do, is that we absolutely like to disagree with each other. As a community, anime fans can never seem to achieve a consensus about something. After all, your taste in anime is trash to someone somewhere in the world, right? And that's fine, really. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Keep in mind, this is the only community that's willing to fight each other on whose virtual life is better than the other. If anything, just like bashing on SAO, bashing your mates' taste in anime and waifu is essentially a national pastime. That being said, there are some animes out there that kind of defy this idea. Animes that are so notorious that it goes from playful bashing of each other's tastes to actual disbelief on how you or anyone could like a specific show. And one of the animes that I feel exemplifies this is none other than School Days. Now you might be thinking to yourself, but Moxito Task, what the heck is a School Days? And to that I say... Fair enough. This anime came out in 2007, and with the rate our world is moving, stuff from 2007 will probably be considered retro in a few more months. So unlike my SAO video before this, I actually have to give some context first. School Days is an anime adaptation of a visual novel of the same name that was released in 2005. Now, if you have no idea what a visual novel is, and without getting too bogged down in the lore of Japanese media, a visual novel is essentially a type of game where you mainly read text with an accompanying image or background, and occasionally you have to make a choice that will affect the story. I'm just gonna show you guys. So what you're seeing is the main gameplay loop of most visual novels and by extension, school days. So the visual novel was released in 2005, but the anime would later be made and released in 2007 as part of the summer seasonal lineup. The story follows one Makoto Ito as he falls head over heels for another character named Kotonaha Katsura. Oh. Being the visual novel soy boy protagonist that he is, Makoto is too bashful to confess to Kotonoha. So he just keeps a picture of her as his cell phone's wallpaper, as one does apparently. Later on, Makoto's classmate that sits next to him, Sekai Sayonji, spots this photo and offers to set him up with Kotonoha, but ends up catching feelings for him as the story goes on. Now, from that summary, you might be thinking, what's the big deal about this show then? Sounds like your average school drama romance anime to me. 
You know how I said earlier that in the visual novel, one of the core gameplay loops is that the player occasionally has to make choices and these choices will affect the story? Well, in the School Days visual novel, the choices that the player can make affect whether or not the protagonist Makoto cheats on his girlfriend Katonoha. Now, this doesn't mean the visual novel is purely about infidelity and cheating on your girlfriend. While the player can make the active decision to cheat on Kotonoha with other female characters, which can lead to certain specific endings, the player can also make it so that Makoto stays loyal to Kotonoha or any other female protagonist, as the game doesn't really railroad you into only hooking up with Kotonoha. And that should be that, right? The premise is kind of fucked up, but you, the player, can make everyone have the happy ending they deserve, right? Well, no. This is where the anime finally comes into play. You know how I said that in the visual novel, the player has a choice on whether Makoto becomes a good or bad guy, essentially? Well, for the anime, Studio TNK, the studio that made the anime, just said screw it and made Makoto as bad as a human being as possible. Like, I'm not exaggerating by the way, if you go to the Wikipedia page that lists all the School Days characters, it describes the anime version of him as some kind of sex fiend. Like, you cannot make this stuff up. And I tried to find why they made this exact decision, but I could not find anything solid for the life of me. So I would love to hear from you guys in the comments section below if you have any leads about this, because I am so curious. And it's not just that anime Makoto is down bad as fuck, but the dude just straight up emotionally manipulates his SO. He's rash and egotistical, completely apathetic to Katonoha and how she feels, pretty much has no concept of personal boundaries whatsoever, and it's actually implied that he's aware of his horrible actions, but decides to make no real attempts to be better. Now, you might be wondering, with all this going on, how in the hell does this anime end? Well, I'm just gonna read to you guys a part of the summary for the last episode. <clears throat> The following day, arranging to talk at his apartment, Sekai brutally stabs Makoto to death with a kitchen knife and flees. She receives a text from his phone that night requesting her presence on the school roof, where she meets Kotonoha. After presenting her with Makoto's severed head, she slits open Sekai's neck with a dozuki, causing her to collapse and die in a fountain of blood. With her former friend out of commission, Kotonoha carves into Sekai's uterus, but sees no fetus in there according to Kotonoha's soliloquy. Early that morning, floating into a sunrise on a sailboat, Katonoha is seen cuddling with Makoto's severed head, whispering that they can finally be together. Yeah, that's... that's an ending. Anyway... This is the reason why School Days is as notorious as it is, and the entire point of this video. Even with a messed up plot and even more messed up main character, the School Days anime has its fair share of supporters that give it a solid recommendation. Going to Mal, even with a 5.54 average review score, if you go into the individual reviews, you'll still find people are willing to give this show a 7 or an 8 and even a 10 out of 10 purely on the ending alone. In my opinion, School Days represents the age-old question of which one do you value more, the journey or the destination? If you value the journey, then obviously you're gonna hate this show. No amount of killing off the MC is gonna justify the creators of the anime forcing the audience to sit and watch Makoto emotionally alienate and abuse his SO without immediate consequence. While if you value the destination, the ending is the most cathartic aspect as Makoto finally does get what's coming to him as some reviews say. And it's this question that I feel a lot of anime fans do have to ask themselves when talking about anime as just like any other form of media, anime is so rarely perfect. One bad aspect of a show doesn't mean the rest of it is spoiled. But one amazing moment doesn't necessarily make something worthwhile as well. It's shows like School Days that I feel are a really good case study when talking about what people consider objectively bad anime, as even with a controversial plot and characters, there are still people willing to call it art. And I feel like there's a lot to learn from this phenomenon, as both sides are equally correct, just as much as they can be equally wrong. Is School Days a bad anime? Eh? Should you watch it? I can't get drunk, but I feel like alcohol would definitely help when watching this. Here's a tip. Every time Makoto cheats on Katonoha, you take a shot. Every time Makoto is indecisive, you take a shot. Hell, every time Makoto is on screen but Katonoha isn't, you take a shot. 
If by chance you're still alive at the end of this, congratulations, you have a crippling addiction to alcohol. Your intervention starts next week. We don't want you to be good. We want you to be better.